Hello everyone! This video is going to be a quick and easy way to maximize your small off-camera flash setup. This tutorial will help you understand the following. Number one, when and how to use modification. Number two, how to push your light further to get the most out of your small flash setup. And number three, how to position your light to get the best lighting setup possible. Hi guys, Jason Leonard here and I'm here in where? You guys know where I'm at. I'm here in Crazy Times Square, New York City. I'm here. There's not a place on the planet that is this bright no matter what time of the day. So I've done a lot of videos on the AOS 2 and this is why I'm doing this one on the Neo 3 in a very challenging place to show you how you can really maximize this light. For this tutorial, I took two models onto the crazy streets of Times Square in New York City. I wanted to demonstrate how important it is to use flash in these types of scenarios to help overcome things such as color cast that is being thrown onto your subjects from big, huge neon signs and billboards. The gear used in this video was my Sony a7R 3 with three different lenses. The Sony Zeiss 50mm, the Sony 85mm G Master, and the Sigma Art 105mm lens. For lighting, I just used the little Rotolite Neo 3. I thought I'd change things up this time and show you what can be done with a smaller light source. Number 1. When and how to use modification. My rule of thumb is simple. I start with the most modification applied, in this case I'm using two layers with the Neo 3, I then turn my flash on full power and fire away. If it's enough light output, especially when I'm using a smaller light source like this one, I keep going. If it's not, I start removing layers of modification. The first layer I remove is the outer sock. Once I've removed that layer, I fire a test flash again to see if it's enough light. If it is, I start my shoot. If it isn't, well, you guessed it, I take off the inner baffle. Now a key note of differentiation for those out there. If you're using a traditional strobe that has a central rectangular shape like a speed light or a mono light, I don't recommend this last step of shooting bare bulb because the light source will be too center focused and not diffused enough to provide aesthetically pleasing light. If you do happen to be using something like the Neo 3, you can get away firing at bare bulb because it's honestly just built differently. The light is spread out over hundreds of little LEDs around the light. Each light has its own concave lens in front of it that spreads and diffuses the light even more, making it possible to shoot at bare bulb with aesthetically pleasing results. Pushing light. If you're going to use a small light source, I highly recommend taking the time to place it into a larger modifier to help push the light forward and towards your subject. Many times we fire our strobes or rotor lights just on a light stand or C stand with no modification. The problem with that approach is we are losing a ton of light. Placing your strobe in a larger modifier not only helps to shape and soften it, but also helps to contain light leak and gives you the best bang for your buck. Positioning the light. The key to great light is to place your light and modifier if you're using one as close to your subject as possible. The further you place your light source away from your subject, the harsher your light becomes. And it also diminishes the accuracy of your color and tones. On top of that, make sure to take the time to position your light commensurate to the height of your subject. I like to have my light or modifier about a foot higher than my subject's head to get great lighting and catch light in the eyes. So what do you think? Was this helpful? If you think it was or wasn't, please let me know in the comments below. I really do want to provide quality content that helps all of you out there that are trying to improve as photographers and creators. If you'd like to join me in person for some hands-on training, please visit www.jasonlinear.com slash register and book your spot today. And if you like what you saw coming out of that little tiny Neo 3, feel free to explore the links below in the description so you can grab one for yourself or simply visit www.rotolite.com slash jasonoffers. Right now they are 15% off only through July 1st as part of my Master Your Lighting Tour that I'm doing. And if you're interested in seeing the Neo 3 tested against a larger LED system, check out this quick comparison. All right, so here, here's the GVM on Alyssa. Here's the Neo 3. That's pretty nuts. Sorry, but only with the Neo. No, I think it's even more incredible that it shows with this thing on that it actually overpowers that light. Turn it on again. Like that's crazy. I thought this was bright until you turned that one on. Alright, so this is <laughs> and this is 
literally from a physical standpoint, half, maybe even 40% the size of the GVM. And the GVM is directing it with barn doors, which... And it has double batteries. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, that's quite a bit. All right, turn the, uh, turn the GVM off. All right, now just GVM, go for it. Okay, now turn it off. Now Neo 3. Wow, that's not even close. I always encourage my workshop attendees to bring their lights to my events so we can compare and contrast what we see so all of us can grow as photographers and learn what works best for all of us. I hope this has helped, my friends. Make sure to give a listen, Sophia, follow on Instagram. They're awesome ladies. I can't tell you how grateful I am for them and just love working with them. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find our gear that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. It's hard to win, hard to pin one day. I look out for you to soothe away the blues in your eyes. Whoever says models don't eat, I've never met these models. Check this out. Well, they didn't see the before of this omelet. How big was it? It was like to the edge of the plate. Thick. These girls pound the food.